She's one of the world's most recognizable young women. But has she had plastic surgery? Let's break down Ivanka Trump and what I think she's had done from a plastic surgery perspective over the years. I need to start this video by letting you know that I'm not Ivanka's plastic surgeon. So everything in this video are my opinions only. However, I have looked at Ivanka very closely and have examined photos of her over the years. So let's break it down. This is Ivanka Trump at the age of 17, back in 1998. And as you can see, she does not look anything like she does today. Take a close look at her nose. Her nose looks very, very different today than it did back then. And you can see she has a bump on the top of her nose. Her nose is a little bit rounder and it actually has a shape of her mom's nose, Ivana Trump. She also appears to have microgenia and this is a scientific term for a smaller chin. This too will change over the years. Now let's fast forward just one year, and this is Ivanka at 1999 at the age of 18, and she looks very, very different. You're starting to see the Ivanka Trump that we know today, but she's not quite there yet. So take a look at her nose, and if you focus in on her nose, you can tell that her nose has changed shape a bit. I believe that Ivanka underwent her first rhinoplasty between 1997 and 1998, giving her a nose that is a bit straighter, that bump is pretty much gone, but it still doesn't quite look like the Ivanka Trump nose of today. Now let's fast forward a full seven years. Now Ivanka Trump is 26 years old. She is a beautiful young woman. She is recognized all around the world for her beauty, and I believe she has had a decent amount of plastic surgery. If you compare her nose from 2006 back to the last photo we looked at from 1999, you can see her nose definitely looks thinned and more refined. So I believe she underwent a second rhinoplasty in this interim. Also, if you look at her chin, her chin does not look quite so small anymore. I believe she also underwent a chin implant sometime during this time as well. A chin implant is typically a solid silicone implant that can be placed through the inside of the mouth or underneath the chin, and it lies literally right along the chin bone. These implants, unlike breast implants, are made to last basically forever. You do not have to switch them out, unlike a breast implant. Now, I do chin implants quite often, and what I find is it really helps with the harmony of the face. It helps everything just kind of match better for some people that we do it on. And in Ivanka's case, I think that it definitely does that. When the chin is on the smaller side, it can make the nose and the eyes look bigger than they really are. Putting in a chin implant can create perfect harmony to the face that we are starting to see now with Ivanka. Now let's fast forward just one year to 2007. And by looking at her profile, you can really see how her chin looks very different than it used to. So let's compare how she looks like in 2007 to the first photo we looked at way back in 1998. As you can see, her nose looks very different. It's much more refined, it is much thinner, and her chin itself has much more projection than it used to. Although the bones of the face do change as you mature, a chin does not grow like this naturally. Now let's forward two years to 2009. She's 28 years old, she looks fantastic, and this is the Ivanka Trump that we all know. And now let's fast forward to 2012. She's 31 years old, so she's no longer in her 20s, and I believe that this is around the time where she really started using injectable treatments. I believe, looking at this photograph, that she may have injectable fillers in her cheeks and in her lips, but it is very subtle. She has not had a ton of work done as far as injections. She may have also had some Botox injected into her forehead and into her crow's feet and frown lines. Everything just looks smooth, smoother than it usually does in somebody who's 31. And I think you can really see it in this photo of her with Jared where you can see from the side her cheeks are nice and full looking. I don't think that this is natural, although it's always possible. I believe she's had some cheek filler very subtly to add volume into her cheeks and to give them that high sculpted appearance that she has. Are you like the millions of people who have a bathroom filled with half empty bottles and tubes of skincare? They may have promised to reduce your wrinkles, lighten your blemishes, and help you feel better about your skin, but none of them actually worked. Well, I've got the answer for you. It's called Yoon Beauty. 
Yoon Beauty is one of the only skincare lines that combines natural and organic ingredients with the latest and scientifically proven components like vitamin C and retinol. I'm so certain that you'll love Yoon Beauty products that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. Head to YoonBeauty.com and use the coupon code 20 off to get $20 off your first order over $99. I'll put a link in the caption below. Once you try Yoon Beauty products, I bet you'll throw away your other skincare products and start loving your skin again. Thank you for putting your trust in me. Now let's look at two photos of her from 2015 at the age of 34. There's one where we are a little zoomed out. You can see that her nose is definitely quite narrow. She does have that nice projection to her chin and her lips are still full at the age of 34. But if we zoom in a little bit at her smiling, take a close look at her nose. A lot of people ask me, how can you tell if somebody's had a rhinoplasty or a nose job? There are certain telltale signs of a rhinoplasty that you can see in a lot of patients who've had it done. And when you zoom in and she smiles, you can see a thinner area where her nostrils meet the central portion or the dorsum of her nose. This is an appearance that you often see in people who've had rhinoplasty surgery. And it's because we remove cartilage quite often from the nostrils or the nasal ala, removing this cartilage can cause it to look a bit thinner and when a person smiles, it can create these little divots or indentations on either side of the nose. Now, there are some people who have this naturally, but I do see quite a few people who've had rhinoplasty surgery that exhibit this as well. Her lips also are very full for somebody who's 34, and you can see her forehead is completely smooth and wrinkle-free. I believe that these are likely signs of filler in her lips and Botox in her forehead. Now let's take a look at Ivanka one year later in 2016. And if you look at her, she's starting to look a little bit like Kim Kardashian in this photo. Now she looks glamorous at the age of 35. She does look like her face has gotten a little more sculpted though. I do think she's once again getting injectable filler in her cheeks, but if you look at her cheek hollows, they do look a bit more sculpted it is possible that she underwent a buccal fat removal, and that is removal of fat from the inside the cheeks, creating an indentation in that area. Her cheeks, once again, are nice and full and elevated, and once again, this could be a sign of injectable filler in the cheeks as well. And now let's go forward three years to 2019. She's 38 years old and looks fantastic. I don't see any signs that she has had any major plastic surgery, uh, like a facelift or eyelid lift or anything like that. However, I do believe that she is continuing to keep up with injectable fillers, maybe some Botox, and not surprisingly, she may have some breast implants as well, but that is a whole other topic of conversation. Well, Ivanka Trump is a fashion icon who I believe has had a decent amount of plastic surgery, but not a ton. Well, there is a country music icon who's had a ton of plastic surgery, and her name is Dolly Parton. What has she admitted to, and what do I think she's had that maybe she hasn't admitted to? Take a peek at this video right up here where I go through all of what I believe Dolly Parton has had done. This might surprise you. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.